Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sessor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, it's been a very long time, ladies and gentlemen. It's been over, I think the last time he was on my channel was about a year ago, right? Nah. It wasn't in 2016. Really? So it wasn't a year ago. It's been about a year since Dan's been on my YouTube channel, and today, we're gonna be doing a QA. and a You ready for this? I'm always ready. Q and A, let's get it. When is Jim Dolphin coming out? Ask Sensor. What's up, Dan? You letting down the fans right now, They're man. asking Sensor, they're not asking me. What no, but they, they wanna know because you're the person who's in charge. I got Jim Shark, I signed an NDA. I'm not allowed to say anything about Jim Dolphin. I could say its name, but that's it. So. I mean, I made the shirts. I designed them. I can't do anything about Jim Dolphin, though. You I, know, just don't, I just don't have the Shark. capital to, to start, you know what I'm saying? I need some investments here. <laughs> yeah, if you really made a shirt, I want to see it, honestly. I showed you like, it. If you had no, like an official, nice, like a shirt that's respectful. Not just like I some. I did. Not just like some crap you take with a Sharpie over No, shirt, I Dolphin. did. All right, hold on. I'm looking Let it up right it. now. Let me see it. Let me see it. Disrespect Put it for the camera. Right here. Can you even see that? No. Give it a second, it'll focus on it. Try to move your head out of the frame. Go to the right. Yeah. That's the shirt. Look at that. What do you guys think? I don't know. That's pretty whack if you ask me to be honest. That's freaking gorgeous. Gymshark is way better than that. Look at this, guys. You're going to tell me that that shirt is better than this? You see this fit right now? It's the weakest color I've ever seen. This it's is mint like, green, dude. It's like Tiffany and company. I got a comment colors. actually at the gym today. A girl said that this was you weren't even wearing a very good looking gym. color. It was the same one except there's a t-shirt. Yeah, because one. girls like Tiffany and that's the same color. She said, Tiffany. wow, that color looks really good on you. It looks like the same thank you. Tiffany color that my boyfriend got me earrings from. Wait, what? You never heard of the store Tiffany and Co? <laughs> you just said my boyfriend, dude. The girl said that. Oh, I don't know, dude. You're wrong. Alright, whatever. Hashtag ass sensor. Have you or Dan ever farted while lifting weights? Um, yes, I have. Have you? Yeah, those those deadlifts be getting me sometimes. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna try oh, to find man. the picture right now. I'm gonna put it on the screen of Dan when he was doing deadlifts. This is the funniest picture ever. One time, it was about two years ago, I was doing legless and I had my music plugged in and uh, there was like three different girls on the mats to the side of me and I was trying to, you know, it gave me a little bit more motivation just because if you have other people around you're gonna be motivated to work out, right? And I, I did a leg lift too much and I squeezed too much and I felt, I felt the fart come out. But I, the problem that I had is that I don't know how loud it was because I had my music playing in my ears. So I just <laughs> so assumed, started looking around. I assumed the worst. I looked around and then I just left. I got out of there. Left the area. Okay, say anything challenge. You ready? Say anything? Yeah. So basically we look at each other and you just say any word that comes to your head. You just go back and forth. So for example, peanut. Touchdown. Roller coaster, touchdown, Oklahoma, anything. You can do Oklahoma. anything you want. Ready? Say anything challenge. Shoes. Duck. Tennis. Quack. Nike. Run. Under Armour. Fly. Adidas. Win. Sports. <laughs> I win, yes! It's hard, isn't it? Why did you say it like that? Sports! <laughs> I don't know. You said that so late. I was gonna say Call of Duty Ghost. I don't know why I didn't say that one. <laughs> If, if you get in doubt, just like look around and just and find random stuff. What supplements do you guys use? Any specific mass gainers slash proteins you two recommend? Hashtag S sensor. All right, guys, check this out. I actually use this right here. Gold standard, 100% whey protein. That's what I've been on right now. And I gave Dan the mass gainer I've been using for like almost three years now. It's a really good mass gainer. It's called Mass Gainer Complex. And is there anything else you use besides for mass gainer? I use um six star whey protein. Okay, so just basically like whey protein. If you guys want to put on any weight, it's really important to get really good foods in your system. Like the supplements are going to help you, but I know the best from, from training with Dan and this other guy Shane that we train out, work out with all the time. The cardio and the diet is one of the most important parts of weightlifting. Like you can't have one without the other. Yeah, people overthink the supplements a lot but you really don't need them that much. I mean, they'll probably help a little bit. They do help. There's going to be a difference, but, but it's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go into the gym, you gotta work yeah. out, you gotta there's, diet. There's no substitute for working out hard and eating right. There's no substitute. Hashtag S answer, will you stay playing competitive COD? Yes, I'm just waiting on my time. Um, right now is not the best time for me to be playing. And if I do play again, I'd really want it to be for FaZe. And, and you guys know FaZe is set. So if anything did happen to that team, I'd really try to push for a case to go back on the FaZe competitive team. But I can't see myself really playing for anywhere else. Hashtag S answer, what is you guys' favorite meal after working out? Oh, I put you on it. He put me on this, guys. Last week. On. We go to this uh, diner every single day. It was actually my skit from last week that you guys saw. Uh, it's called MVP Diner, and I get this Cajun grilled chicken. It is the best chicken in the entire world. I'm not even trying to exaggerate or emphasize it at all. I can literally eat this every day for the rest of my life and have zero complaints. Cajun chicken on whole wheat toast, toasted, period. Good healthy meal, tastes fantastic. 
That's my favorite. What it's, about one you? Of, it's one of three different things that you eat. What do you, what's your favorite? Let's not go about my, my eating disorders right now. Let's just talk about what your favorite is. My, Keep favorite, it on note. my favorite meal? Probably be the grilled chicken, too. Hey! He put me on. And he leaves me hanging. That's great. <laughs> Who can beatbox or beatbox better? I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the L. <laughs> Doug takes another L. Can you do 10 push ups with two fingers? Yeah, so take two. It doesn't matter which fingers you use, but just use two fingers. It's about to fucking hurt. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, go. <laughs> you can't do it at all? Alright, let me try. Hold up. Alright, ready? I'm gonna go like this. Fuck that. No, hell no. Hell no. I can't. Hell no, dude. I can't do that. Oh my god, you gotta be like Bruce Lee or something I if you wanna see be that. Doing guy that. Too. Yeah, I wanna see you. So. Wait, who is that? His name is. Faze Ignacio. Faze Ignacio. If Ignacio. you could do 10 push ups with two fingers, you gotta let us know. You gotta make a video response to this video, man. Hashtag ass censor. Reenact one of Rug's pranks. What's going on guys, FaZe Rug here, and today it's another prank video, and this time I apologize to my mom in advance because I do mean things to you, but I don't mean it, so I apologize, and it's for the audience. It's fun, and it's not its not a big deal. It's just a prank, so today we're going to be taking a bag of salt. I'm going to put it in my car under a jacket, and I'm going to be playing Call of Duty in my room and tell my mom to go to my car to get my jacket, and I hope she sees the bag and thinks it's cocaine, but it's not cocaine. It's just a bag of salt. So I'm really excited for this, guys. I'm a little bit nervous, and I hope my mom gives a good reaction. So when she gets home, I'm going to turn my camera back on, and we'll see where it goes from there. Two there, two there, guys. Mom! What's up? What? Can you go to the car and get my sweater for me, please? All right. Two more, two more. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. She totally doesn't see me right now. Oh my god, she found it. Guys, she found it. Oh my god. Oh my god, she looks so angry. Okay. Okay. There's my controller. There's one guy there. Doc. What? I got your sweater here. Thanks, Mom. Um, no, no thanks. What the hell is this? What are you talking about? I found this under your sweater. It fell out. Ma, it's just my friends. What? It's my friends. It's not mine. That's bullshit. What the hell is this? You don't hang out with people that do shit like that. Mom, Mom, look, it's just a prank. There's a camera right here. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a prank, Mom. Jeez. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, cool. Oh, shit. Ah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Q&A. If you did, drop a thumbs up for the video. If you want to see more videos with Dan, anything at all, leave a comment down below or drop a thumbs up on the video as well. Hope you guys all have a great day. You want to say anything, Dan? Um, do you guys need any workout advice or anything? Follow me on Instagram, 7 Red Stripes. Hit me up. I'll try to answer all your guys' questions and stuff like that. Stay grinding. There'll be a link in the description below for Dan's Instagram. Check it out. Give him a follow. Hope you guys have a great day. It's video boy, Doug Sun tomorrow, and, and we're out, guys. Peace. It's crazy to me that my job consists of social media, of posting videos online for other people to see. Because growing up, this wasn't really a career path that people would take. It was always going into a school, graduating high school, getting into a college, getting great grades, and then applying for jobs with your resume and maybe making $30,000 a year by being a coffee boy for somebody and it's some sort of a pawn of a system. That was what people were taught to do growing up. And I never really understood that. And now that social media is my job and I'm here sitting at my desk recording this video talking into a microphone to you guys out there.